Rita. And I'm Dixon. And we teach couples like you to handle your marriage immigration on your own. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already to be notified every time we post a new video about marriage immigration. Now, let's get into it. The Department of Homeland Security just recently proposed increasing various USCIS fees, but why do these fees increase? They claim that this is necessary to maintain adequate service levels, which, for those of us who've dealt with the USCIS, we wouldn't call their current service levels adequate. Further, they claim that raising the fees will help improve processing times, working through backlogs, and accounting for inflation. The proposal will be published on January 4th with a 60-day public comment period. So if you have something to say about it, be sure to check the link in the description and let them know what you think about the proposal. For now, we would like to show you exactly how they're planning on raising their fees. By the way, one comment before we get into it. Immigration changes are a pain to keep up with, in addition to having to figure out how to handle your own immigration case. We know because we've been there with our own immigration. That's why we've created the marriage immigration method to provide you with all the guidance you need to properly prepare your own case while avoiding costly mistakes. And we can help review your paperwork as well if you've already prepared it. Be sure to check it out in the description below or head over to our website at legalish.io. Now here you can see some of the specific changes in the proposed rule and what they may include. Uh, not everything is about increasing um, the fees. For instance, we have the eliminating the $30 return check fee. Um, but, you know, for instance, we have now they're requiring separate filing fees for Form I-45 and the associated Form I-131, as well as Form I-765 filings. Um, you can definitely take a look through throughout here to see the specific changes. We've included the link. Um, it's the frequently asked questions, as well as you can take a look through and see what else um, this proposed rule change is going to do and how it's going to affect um, your immigration. So now let's get into how much the new fees will cost. You know right now how you can file your work and travel permit for free when filing Form I-485? Well, these three forms are about to cost $2,820 instead of their current price of $1,225, which is a 130% increase. Additionally, there is a list of specific changes in the proposed rule, which you can check out on the USCIS website. We've included the link for you in the description below. You're going to want to apply for a green card before these new fees go into effect. So when will these new fees go into effect? Since the price increases have just been submitted as a proposed rule change, you have 60 days to comment before a final rule or decision will be made. That means the opportunity to submit questions will expire at midnight on March 4th, 2023. After that, it's impossible to know how long it will take for the comments to be reviewed and a final decision to be made. So you will want to be filing before March 4th to guarantee that you get the current fee prices. Would you like to participate in the public listening session or even speak directly to the USAS to voice your opinion on these proposed rule changes? You can do so by attending the session on January 11th, 2023 at 2 p.m. Eastern. If you want to have an opportunity to speak, then you'll need to follow the website instructions for submitting comments. We've included some links and details in the description below. Finally, they have a table um, showing comparison of the current and proposed fees. Now, this is on um, page 23, and we've included the link below if you want to take a look yourself. But for instance, we have the application for travel documents with Biometric. This one actually is decreasing by 5%, but I-131, just the application for travel document, that is increased by 10%. They're showing here we have the original fee, the new uh, proposed fee, and then the difference in both dollar and percentage. Um, you can scroll through a bit further, for instance, I-45, now that's increased by 26%. And when we look at this all together, um, these percentage increases, they're going to amount to something significant. So it's it's important to take, take a look at this and honestly try to apply ahead of time. We don't know if these things are going to come into effect. Like we have mentioned, there's that 60-day um, comment period. So you know, there, there's room for it to change, but for instance, like right here, we have a 130% increase for everything that you'd need to file. I-45, 131, and 765 um, filed on paper, though, um, with biometric services. Now, they did mention that some online um, filings are going to be changing, even um, decreasing, um, but we just need to look and, and see what happens, uh, what they end up deciding. Drop us your marriage immigration questions in the comments and get a custom shout out answer by using our Q&A link in the video description. Be sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it and check out some of these other videos we think you'll find useful. Thank you and we'll see you in the next one.